having one now on the PGA Tour, that was a big breakthrough for me. It was an amazing day, to be honest with you. I started the day four back, and um, I knew that I was in the tournament, though. Uh, even though I was four shots behind, there were only two or three guys ahead of me, so that I, I really felt like I had a great chance to win. But the key was I didn't go into the day forcing anything. I really played a st strategic round. I played within myself. Uh, you know, I really let the round build, I let the momentum build, and it sort of all started coming to a head on the back nine. I started making some putts, and you know, the key shot for me was um, hitting it into the middle of the green on the tough par three 12th hole and getting through that hole with a par. And you know, once I'd done that, I felt really good, really confident that it could be my day. You know, I'd been in similar situations before, I'd had my chances before, but I just felt a lot calmer, and I think that really helped me get the job done. And uh, that was a special moment for sure. And um, you know, it was a long time coming, but I couldn't have chosen a better venue, I don't think, to win my first PJ Tour event. Right after winning the Memorial, I had a great chance to win again, and I kind of messed it up on Sunday, but I learned so much from that Sunday that I then, I knew that Monday morning I was a better player. So it's how I looked at it was the key to me winning the very next week at the AT&T. Had I been all down on myself and thinking, man, how come I couldn't put this three-shot lead away? I would never have won the next week, but the fact I said, right, well, I got a little bit quick, I gripped the club a little bit tight, I wasn't quite releasing, I, I got a little bit out of my rhythm. Those little things made a difference, and then when I had the opportunity the following Sunday, I put into practice the things I'd learned and, and I won the tournament.